My hair has now got so high that it can barely fit in the camera screen. So there we go. The beauty of curly hair. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about how to protect your curls at night. It's all well and good spending ages perfecting your curls on wash day, but if they don't last until the next day and beyond, then what is the point? Before incorporating these steps, I would wake up with dry, knotty, messy hair that needed much more than a quick refresh. But since incorporating these steps into my nighttime routine, I've managed to stretch my wash days for longer and keep my curl definition way past day one. So let's jump in with the steps. Step one is to tie your hair up in a pineapple. I always put my hair up in a pineapple before I go to bed. I usually use an invisible ball, but you can use any non-snagging hair tie, a satin scrunchie, anything like that. Anything that's gonna keep your hair up on top of your head and stop it from getting all tangled up. If you sleep with your hair down on your pillow, unless it's a silk pillowcase, it's likely to get very tangled and that can cause breakage. Sleeping with your hair in a pineapple is gonna keep your curls all together, stop them from getting too tangled. I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of how to pineapple your hair because there are a couple of different ways depending on your hair style, whether you've got short front pieces, whether your hair's shorter or longer. Option one is the ponytail pineapple and I will show you how that is done. Flip all your hair forward, literally right at the front as if you've got a unicorn horn and tie it around once and leave it. As you can see my hair is way too long for this kind of pineapple now so I do something a little bit different. Option two is the pineapple bun. So I'm gonna do the same where I flip my head forward into a ponytail, into a unicorn ponytail, but this time I'm going to, I because I've got quite, I wouldn't say my hair's really dense, I like to tie the hair band around twice, but if you, if you only need to do it once, then only do it once, the looser the better, because it's gonna preserve your curls better. So I'm gonna pull it through once into the pineapple, and then twist it and pull it back through just so it sits there and then just to kind of get it out of my face while I'm sleeping I just push it to the side like that. I'm off camera but uh there you go, so that is option two. Now option three is something that I do when my front pieces are a lot shorter, so if you've got face framing pieces then this is for you. My front pieces have grown out a lot at the moment so there's not really much point in doing this, but I will show you how it's done anyway because it really did help me to preserve my curls when my front pieces were shorter. So I'm just gonna take this out. So, I'm going to flip my head forward and kind of find the shorter front pieces and separate them. But as you can see, mine have got very long, but I'm just going to separate them from the rest of my pineapple. Put the unicorn pineapple in. If you've got long hair like me, then do the bun, but if not, then you can just do the one ponytail. So that's in place. Grab my clip. And with these pieces, oh, my arm always clicks. I don't know why, it's just, I think I've got weird bones. It doesn't hurt, I swear it doesn't hurt. And then I just clip these in like this and just let it fall. There we go. So that is my three ways to pineapple your hair. If you've got shorter hair, um, some people with shorter hair do a half pineapple, so they just literally tie the top part up and leave the back part down. But if you've got shorter hair, then just experiment with different ways that work for you at preserving your curls at night. Step two is to sleep on a silk or satin pillowcase. If you are someone that sleeps on a cotton pillowcase and you notice that you get a lot of tangles at the nape of your neck here, then that could be to do with the pillowcase you're sleeping on. Regular cotton pillowcases are quite drying on curly hair and dry curly hair creates knots and tangles which creates breakage 
which we don't want on curly hair. I personally sleep on a silk pillowcase. This one is from Ginger Lily London and these are quite pricey but it was a Christmas gift last year. I've got a few other ones as well, you can get them at a cheaper price so I'll show you. This one is from My Case Silk. It's actually quite cool because it's silk on one side and cotton on the other side. Obviously you can't sleep on this side, but you can sleep on this side and these are a cheaper price point. This one is also from My Case Silk. And this was actually gifted by the brand very kindly and this is their double sided silk one silk on both sides and oh my gosh it feels so soft i've not actually slept on this one but i'm looking forward to it because it's very very soft since i've been sleeping on a silk pillowcase my hair has not been anywhere near as dry and i've not had as many tangles at the back of the neck where i used to get them all the time so it really is worth the investment if you don't want to invest in a silk pillowcase or you're vegan you can opt for a satin pillowcase they do just as good a job a much better job than a regular drying cotton pillowcase Step three is to wear a hair bonnet. This is the only hair bonnet that I own and it is from Only Curls London. This is actually a satin bonnet, but you can get silk ones as well. Literally, you just put your hair in the pineapple. You don't have to pineapple it like this. You can pineapple it one of the other ways. And literally, this is all I do. I don't know if I'm doing it right or not. I know I look silly. I look like I'm wearing a shower cap, but it protects your curls, so oh. get in. Are they all in? Are they all in? That'll do. So, this is me looking lovely in my satin hair bonnet. To be honest with you, I don't wear a hair bonnet anymore. I went through a phase where I did wear one quite a lot, but I think for me, I can manage to preserve my curls just by having them in a pineapple and sleeping on a silk pillowcase. And also, it ends up falling off in the night, so I have to sleep on a silk pillowcase anyway. If you don't want to opt for a silk pillowcase or if you're traveling and you don't want to take a silk pillowcase with you, then having a hair bonnet may be quite helpful. But yeah, this is an option. It's an option, it may, it may be an option that works better for other people than me. So, there we go. So I've got one more tip for you. It's not a step that you have to take, but if your hair gets quite dry overnight, then this is something that could help you. My hair, at the moment, it, it doesn't want moisture, which is so weird for curly hair. It just it just is retaining it so well and it's just constantly moisturized. So I'm laying off the creams and things at the moment, but once we do get into winter and my hair gets a bit drier, this is definitely something that I'm gonna start to do again. I did mention this in my refresh video, but I'm gonna show you how I do it again, just so you can see. So all I'll do is just take a really small amount of cream. This is the Naughty Intensive Care Leave-In Conditioner. It's very light, so it's not gonna weigh my hair down. And you can either mix it in with water in your hands or just mix it in on its own. And literally, just smooth it into the ends of your hair. Scrunch it in, smooth it over the nape of your neck where it gets dry and tangled. Scrunch it in and then put your hair in a pineapple and when you wake up in the morning your hair should be hydrated moisturized and hopefully you won't need to refresh but if you do need to refresh then remember that i've got my refresh tutorial video on youtube i'll link it somewhere probably in the description box i don't know where wherever it is it's gonna be there for you to click on and watch. I really hope you found this video helpful and that you found some tips on how to protect your curls at night. I know I've had a lot of questions from people about how I make my curls last until the next wash day if I only wash it once a week. And this is literally all I do to protect my curls. So it obviously works for me and I hope that it works for you too. As always, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give it a like, leave a comment and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, if there's any videos that you would like me to make, please feel free to leave your suggestions 
in the comments below and I'll add them to my list. But for now, I'll see you soon. Bye guys.